Hey guys, welcome back to Granted Gardens. My name is Melissa and it's a beautiful day outside. We just got through the terrible cold spell last week that everyone was going through um, here this winter. And it was to the point where it was like two degrees, I think was the lowest that I'd seen on my weather on my phone. Um, throughout that process, we really just focused a lot on the chickens, making sure that they had access to fresh water, food. Um, we actually kept them in the coop for a couple days because it was just so cold uh, and the wind was blowing rough. Uh, I think the wind was the biggest issue. So we had kept them in the coop because that coop door, when it opens, uh, that was the direction that the wind was coming through. So we just tried to keep them as warm as possible. They're doing great. Uh, they did not skip a beat at all. They're all uh, fully feathered, thank goodness, and uh, kept nice and toasty in the coop. So everyone panned through just well. It's a beautiful day today. So I'm out here. I'm going to give the chickens some special treats and just kind of make their day a little bit better because they finally get a chance to hang out outside. Got some oranges, apple peels, and some kitchen scraps that we're going to brighten their day with and maybe get them some scratch so that they got something to do while they're out today. Stuff for you. Got some oranges. I know those are your favorite. Sun is out in full force. Might get a tan today. <laughs> this is one of the last days that I have off of my nine to five. So I'm trying to take advantage of it. I was actually flipping through my pictures the other day when it was super cold outside. I was flipping through my pictures of the garden over the years and just kind of dreaming and thinking about what I want to do with this space this year. And right now, <laughs> I am eager to make very intensive decisions about what I grow this year. And it's easy to do that right now when everything's like sleeping and there isn't a million things to do. <laughs> it's really easy to make a uh, dream up exactly all the things that you want to do. We were gifted this beautiful day. And so I figured why not start working on some of the ideas I had today. Can't plant anything, but I can definitely start kind of dreaming and arranging things. A few years back, I kind of stumbled across this really cool little nook in the backyard that I kind of fell in love with. Since then, I have been attempting to make it usable, but I haven't really put a ton of effort into jazzing it up. And so I think like this is just one of the things that my heart has been kind of called to over the last few days is to work on this space. So this is the nook that I'm talking about. It's kind of right behind our chicken coop. And then in the summer, and the spring, spring and summer, this gets really filled in, like leafy green. I mean, you really can't see through that at all. And this little space back here just becomes a really cute, beautiful little hideout. And one of the things we did get was this bench here. So we can sit on the bench. My favorite part is I can sit on the bench and watch the chickens. You're gonna have to excuse the like mess of a backyard that we have right now. Very little has been touched since fall. And then we had like that 
cold spell and then we had like all that crazy wind so th things are kind of everywhere and we haven't had a chance to address it but that's okay you know we've still got time but this little area back here is what I don't know I just feel called to to do something with this and overall I think that where my heart's at right now as far as planting the garden is I really want something I want beauty I'm going to be going more so I think this year for beauty I want to go for building something that not only is functional obviously we're going to continue to grow our food because that is a priority for us but also you know relaxing and and something that you can kind of travel through and and see beauty in, in every detail is really what I'm going for this year I'm excited to see what that's going to turn out like I have a few ideas in my head of what that's going to look like in both the big gardens and some of the smaller gardens but along with that concept this space just really kind of came to mind and I want to do something back here that makes it feel a little bit more cozy um leaning maybe more for like an outside inside <laughs> does that make sense like a little living area so maybe a table or something and um kind of more decorations and such back here i want to be more attentive about the plants that i transplant back here to try and go for like secret garden-esque okay so creating barriers creating privacy is is a is a big one for me like i said throughout the summer i mean a lot of this stuff fills in but i think that kind of here behind the bench i would like to put some sort of living wall and then i've been doing a lot of research on shade friendly plants which is hard hard to come by because this whole area here in the summer when everything's filled in this is completely shaded uh it's very hard to get anything to grow back here the grass doesn't grow like it's <laughs> shade heavy shade but I've done some homework on some stuff and, and I have some ideas for kind of outlining what this is going to look like to bring it to life and make it a little bit more cozy and personal now obviously considering plants and such is really only a planning process at this point because there's not much that I can do in the middle of the winter but thinking more of like hardscape kind of stuff um, one thing that I really did kind of want to incorporate back there is a pathway. So some sort of stepping stones. Now, I did mulch back there last year, but all the leaves came down and it's all covered anyways. So it could be a bit of a process. I know that we do have some stones here on the side of the house. So I want to take a peek and see how much we have. See if that's maybe something I could do. have four pavers two square and two rectangles I'm thinking maybe two in front of the bench and maybe a rectangle here to the chicken coop okay got the two pavers down I think I'm like hypothetically would really love to get like an arch here but the thing is is I don't necessarily want to like buy one they're kind of pricey they're extremely expensive let's be honest like even the chintzy ones that fall apart in like a year are expensive um so I'm thinking about maybe trying to build one I don't know if I do I'll probably be on my own because <laughs> I don't know if Tyler is going to be up for wanting to build an arch, but um, I don't know. I might try it. We'll see. All right. So there we go. We got a little pathway. Okay. It's not perfect, guys. I'm aware. Doesn't need to be perfect. Just functional at this point. This is going to continue to be an ongoing project. So if I come across other pavers, I'll make it work with that. You know, I love free cycle. It's where I usually get my stuff. So. I'll keep my eyes peeled but for now that's what we're doing so I started like researching secret gardens Pinterest to try and get some cute ideas there were a few things that they mentioned that are a requirement for a secret garden and first one being a pathway okay check it's not perfect but it's there second one is an entrance 
So if I can build my arch, we'll have that. And then third is privacy, which God has granted me quite a bit of it all on his own. However, as I mentioned, I do have some ideas for incorporating more things, but that's going to come later. It's going to come in spring. So you guys can keep an eye out for that. Um, I think I'm happy with today. I'm going to go, ooh, bugs. I'm going to go and turn our compost pile, make sure that's getting some circulation because it hasn't been turned at all since we built it. Um, so this, we're pretty much on track for doing it the exact same way we did last year. <laughs> but it worked out fine last year too. <laughs> so, ah, I gotta trust the process and just have faith. As always, thank you guys so much for watching. I look forward to sharing more with you soon.